You're unbelievable. Judas. God damn it, Billy's right. Round one. Come on. Oh, whoa. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kelly. Everybody. And boom, we are live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. This is your host, Matthew Benjamin. If you've never been here before, I go through movies, trailers, documentaries, all that jazz. And today, this is going to be a sad one, I think. Uh, it's Flint Town, and Flint Town is a documentary of the police force inside of Detroit, or Flint, Michigan, not Detroit. So, I think this is going to be a really sad one. I think it's crazy. I remember seeing something along the lines of how the police communicate. They get a fax machine, and there's a can of Coke that has change on it, and when the fax goes through the fax machine, machine, it kicks over the can of Coke with the change in it, and it makes a ring, and then that allows them to know what's going on and they get they know they have a fax so i was like oh my god what's going on in michigan so i think this is going to be a really just disturbing one and i think it's crazy crazily abhorrent that these circumstances are going on in america right now and it's just like it's catastrophic circumstances and let's just see what this is all about let's do it flint is an average by a long shot it's hard to step out of your own skin and realize that this isn't what everyone else is dealing with. I mean, every system has a breaking point, and I don't know where ours is. Flint. It was a great place to grow up. The home of the middle class. And then things kind of changed. Did they change quick? You're all right, OK? inundated by violence. Oh my God. There's just not enough of us. Poverty breeds crime. And you throw in there a water crisis. Ours are not civil unrest. Motherfucker. Wow. Police officers are problem solvers, but sometimes it seems as if the problems have no end. I don't think the police the government, the politicians, they don't give a fuck about you no way. The current climate for police work is scary. It's intimidating. We're going to take our city back. Man, what the fuck, bro? We're going to take it back. How can you trust the police these days? Jesus. How can you? I have a son. It makes me afraid for him to grow up. The thought went through my head, this guy's going to kill me. And then I just started shooting again. The urban police have the power to tear a city apart or help hold it together. Wow, man. We have to show people that we're human, too, and this is more than just a job. Stupid motherfucker! Back behind your back! I feel lost right now. Can a city fall so far that we lose sight of the possibility of solutions? What's ailing this city could become an epidemic around the country. <sighs> Jesus, man. Jesus. Wow. Okay, so yeah, Flint, I just can't believe the circumstances. It's been over, I think it's over a year pushing two where they've had unsanitated or unsanitary water. I don't even, I can't even believe that that those circumstances are impressed upon American civilians. I just can't believe that. And I can't believe the understaffed police force as well. I did not know that there was 100,000 people and there's 98 officers. That's unfathomable to me. So I, this looks like an incredible docu-series, and I don't know if it's artistic in the way that this trailer did it. This trailer was magnificent in how it was set up. And how it was, it had the cadence and it had all of the music ent entangled with it. And it was amazing to see that. And I don't know if it's going to be a docu-series where it's uh, artistically driven or just um, straightforward informative. I don't know, but it looks great. I'll definitely be watching this because I think it's it's about time where s information is, enters the ether about this town. Because it's been so long and it's just been... 
ignored um, purposefully. So I, I'm looking forward to this one, definitely. And wow, yeah, I can't believe that. That's an amazing trailer. So I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Um, it drops, let's see when it drops. It drops March 2nd. So March 2nd, you can check that out. That's Flint Town. And uh, so let me know what you thought of this trailer. And if you'll be watching this in the comment section down below, I definitely will be. And if you're watching this retroactively and I've already watched it, the link down below to the review will also be down there. So I'll put that down there as well. Um, also, I'm going to put up a poll. I'm going to do something new. I'm going to put up a poll right here to see what you guys uh, thought about this trailer or if you'll be watching it or not. So right up here, I'll put a poll, bang, and it'll pop up and you take the poll. So, and that's kind of how you can let me know too, or you can just comment either way. So thank you so much. This has been Matthew Benjamin with the American Movie Podcast. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. YouTube, iTunes, all that jazz. Lots of good stuff to come, especially in March. Netflix is looking like they're going to kill it in March. So, bye, 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 bye. Thanks, guys. Round one. Come on. Oh, whoa. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kelly. Everybody thinks they're going to get a chance to punch some Nazi in the face at Normandy. I used to think I was going to get a chance to do it. Now I realize I'm going to be eating jello.